Sup guys, Juggalo here, and welcome to the video of Unleashing the Beast. I successfully BIOS flashed my Titan card. So now I will be able to unleash the beast essentially. Nvidia has come out and said the downclocking in Titan cards is normal and there is no fix going to be coming out. So therefore we have to take it upon ourselves to again unleash the beast when it comes to these cards. Now for the EVGA superclocked BIOS, you have a target or a power target up to I think 106%. I think. And this one, I'm doing a mild BIOS flash. I will get a higher BIOS um, eventually. I think this goes up to 275 watts. And then um, once. I go water cooling, there's another BIOS that will set it up to draw, I think, 300 watts. So I'm going to show you this real quick, and um, I'll have the guides below uh, which one specifically I followed, and it worked. Um, I kind of did a workaround on it, so I might make a, vid uh, excuse me, a video later on on how I did it. Um, so... Let me go ahead and show you that I am using a BIOS flashed card. I am recording off of my webcam right now just because it's way, way easier. So if I go to GPU, use GPUs, and I'm opening that up right here, and then I'll have my target range right here. All right, let's see if I can show you this clearly without giving you a feeling of running around everywhere. Okay, see this right here where it says NVIDIA, the sub vendor? Normally that will say EVGA because this is a EVGA super clocked card. And it says PCI 2.0, whatever. I got to rerun this force enabled the time 16 again. And then right here, here is the power target of 100%. Normal is 106, but if I drag it over, bam, 115%. So I'm going to go ahead and go to default. So that is it. I'm sorry you just saw my mouth, but yeah, it is a success on my BIOS flashing card. Um, I would like to get another one. Eventually down the road, my birthday is coming up. Um, so if I can scrounge up enough uh, cash, I'll try to get another one and basically call it good. Again, the reason why I kind of need two Titans is because of the resolution I am gaming at. Again, that's 6,144 by 1,152. On top of getting another card, I won't have to use a freaking adapter to get my crap to work. Um, just because my monitors right now that I have... Do not have an HDMI cable connection. Do not have a uh, full display port connection on them. And that's what's on these cards is two DVI display port and an HDMI. Well, I need a third HDMI port, so I'm just going to say screw it. I'll wait, you know, until I can get my other card and then go into the triple screen goodness. And again, for X79 users, you can force your card to do uh, PCI 3.0 times 16 by using a patch released by NVIDIA. Just Google it, and you'll find it. Thank you guys for the support. I realize my subscriber count has uh, gone up expeditionally, or whatever you want to say. I can't really speak right now. I apologize for that, but... Um, I noticed like five, six subscribers in the past two, three days, which is completely awesome. I'm up to 1,243 subscribers right now. And I, it, it really shows a lot that I am reaping the fruits of my labor, if this makes sense. Like trying to put quality content out there. I know I couldn't put a lot of good content when I had to sell everything back in October slash November. Uh, when I basically had to sell everything for my computer, but now I'm slowly building up my computer and I hope you guys see that I am trying to put quality content out there even though I'm limited on what I can show you and everything like that. 
Again, BIOS flashing guide that I used will be in the link description and I might do a video on how I did it because I kind of did some different steps and everything because I hit shift and then uh, right click and then open command line in your NV flash folder and then from there that's when I did the uh, protect off and I inputted all that crap so that's what I did but anyways guys again thank you for the support and as always comment subscribe rate this video click that like button and you guys have a great day now